way, once you realize that a human body comes in every configuration, every kind of shape you can imagine, you can't even believe. So you don't have to go and find a particular body. You can make the bodies that you want. And because I, what I don't, what I don't do is so because I'm making my figures black the way they are. I don't take somebody. I don't take somebody and then make them black. No. That would be kind of like a, a, a kind of a black face makeup thing. I don't do that. I create figures that are meant to be black from the moment they were born. <laughs> and so those figures, you're basing them on your ideal. Oh well, yeah. That, for example, that person, that woman that was lying. That's yeah. like okay. Right. They, you're they're all different in that they're all everyone is different. Uh, personality. Yeah. But they're all right. Because you're I mean in everything you do is a you the whole idea of making artwork in general is, is presenting a kind of an idealized form yeah. Yeah. of the body. That's what and and since and if you take that figurative work, so figurative representation is the is the is the foundation of art. And so you can go so if you start at that foundation, the reason, then you have to figure out a reason to be a reason to be abstract. But you know, we don't ask people to paint. Uh, you know, that's not an issue. But rhetorically speaking, this is how we identify yourself, ourselves. And when you identify yourself rhetorically, you identify yourself in a way where you gather the most power and you have the most impact. So black power is more powerful than gray power. I see. Okay, I understand. Brown power, caramel color power. You can't go around with. Okay. Going for slightly yeah, off to Helen, but brown, a little tan power. I mean, that, no, it's okay. black power yeah. is the impact. Yeah. That's, and that's a rhetorical device. So blackness is rhetorical. Oh, wow. So okay. and in the pictures, so paintings are built around rhetorical language, too. Okay, yeah. So the language of making paintings is rhetoric. Very Thanks. Um, <laughs> you got a whole package. <laughs> I'm so yeah. um, um, This is just very uplifting. Um, I really 
I really appreciate that. So thank you for your time and your okay. well, on your way. I'm glad it, it, it touched you some in some way. It really is it's very But helpful. I mean, I, and the thing is, I mean everything I say. <laughs> It's like I mean, you really you have to right. You have to do it. I mean, and there's nothing, and you can't, and you can't be stopped. This is the thing you can't be stopped. I can only call them by their whole name because to shorten it, this would be. Well, you shouldn't give people shortcuts. <laughs> I who you are. I guess they'll just wait until Windows ready to just. Okay. Teach you they can't learn. They can't. <laughs> There's nothing that people can't learn. I worked right. on a film project. She had a, she had a, 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 a say. She's a folk But I'm so oh, happy to be here. So, I am looking for, and I've been told that there are ways for me to get involved here, but I'm also looking for and look, what's going on that I can, can get involved in. <laughs> yeah, but you, right, you can't let doubt be the determining factor, you know, you because you will be unsure of yourself sometimes too. But you gotta, it's just. I mean, here's a, a thing that I think is really important. I mean, if if it really matters to you a lot, then when you keep, if you you have to do it even when you don't feel like it, because it's like whether you do it or not, that shouldn't have anything to do with whether you feel good about it at a given time or not. But that changes. No, you just. Yeah. Don't, who, who cares? Who cares what they expect? What do you expect? I mean, the, in the end, it's the answer is what do you expect? And whether, so you, you have to force the issue. You do, you have to force the issue. By not being, by showing up. That's what it is, by being there all the time. You know, by showing up and by having something to say. I mean, like, um, No, but the thing's like, because I'm not overlooking <laughs> I don't, I'm not overlooked, I see myself exactly. all the time. <laughs> so, which, which is very inspiring, like, at least to me, it's, right. you know, to be there and to actually be part of the conversation. It's, it's been, <laughs> like, just oh, watching on. you and also I like, did the whole, you know, like, look at your works and everything, it was very inspiring. Um, I'm now finished my thesis paper, uh -huh. so... <laughs> Today yeah. or tomorrow? Just today. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. So, well, I mean, so if you think about, so in this moment, in, in this time, this period, so if you look at the Whitney, MoMA, the Guggenheim, Met, like all of them, you can go around the country, around the world. So the people who, who, who are the people who are working in there? What do those people know and what do they do? What do they, how have they decide, how have they help, how have they define what they think is valuable in work that's being made at what the I need moment? To do is get a whole bunch of I know. But you, yeah, listen, to what, listen to what people who are art historians and who are critics and who are philosophers, listen to what they say about it and, uh, and address those questions. That's really it. And so if you, you look at what, what gets shown at the Whitney, what the curators do there, look at what, you'll find out what they believe. And you can address the thing, you can address that belief. Because that belief is something about the status of artworks. Yeah. Not about individual artworks, but say but about the status of artworks in general. And that's what you, right. And so, and you want to, you want to get into that, that's the conversation you want to get into. Okay. And you want to get into it at the point at which the decisions about what happens next are going to be the ones that you answer. Okay. But you've got to, you got to have some sense of what the old question is, or what, and what the current question is. Well, basically, showing to the to the museum itself and being yeah. you know, around it and showing what we're doing. Because that's, like the, that's the discipline. That's like if you want to get a Nobel Prize, what kind of research do you have to do in order to be eligible for a Nobel Prize? Do that research. Okay, and show up. <laughs> and show, yeah, do okay. that research. Okay. Okay, that's, I just needed to hear that again, because right now I'm, I'm doing this series of work. What are they? Like, what are they? I'm working with classical music, and I'm using it as a response. So I have a canvas and I'm moving around, jumping around, but I'm bringing response context of 
Pakistani notation and but, I'm using the, the oh, culture yeah, that of course is encoded in influence. <laughs> you know, yeah, I've been in LA all my life. But have, can you yeah. so can could you could you take what you just said? Yeah. Could you describe what it is yeah. and what effect the thing that results from that activity you just mm -hmm. described? Can you can you identify what the effect of that is going to be on a spectator? Yeah. Write it out. Okay. Write it out because you need to then check it against the thing that you have. Okay. <laughs> and then see if it needs see where it needs to be adjusted. So you <laughs> perfect example. So, so, but you're using music as a kind of as a uh, as a source of reference to as as a uh, catapult something yeah. to catapult you yeah. into the yeah. activity. But if you look, so if you if you look at how uh, a, a record is made, mm -hmm. so you have been seen a sound engineering soundboard, and then comes the whole okay. thing. So you look at how many, like how many uh, slides are you using? Fade. It's like they're adjusting. So every one of the instruments is recorded separately. They're adjusting the level of each one of those one at a time, one increment at a time, because they 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 look they're trying to hit what they think is a kind of magic sound. Can you make artworks that are calibrated like that where you can use those same kinds of incremental adjustments to make the thing sing more, vibrate more, be more resonant? Can you can you make artworks that you can adjust like that too? Innovate, whatever I mean but but be in the be in the work and knowing what it's doing, how it's performing enough to be able to make a slight adjustment that makes all the difference in the world. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yes. You see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean that it, it takes some. It takes that kind of awareness of what you're actually doing, and then what the effect of it's supposed to be. So you have. To, you, I think you have to be able to calibrate things to a degree of time. Yeah. Get closer. I want to get a picture. All right. Thank you. Wait, wait. Let me do it this way so I get the photo of the art. One, two, three. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, picture, picture, all right. In my next step in life. Oh, you're hiding that purse, all right. Oh, you gotta take a picture with my phone.